right, man. Just got to our first spot. Got a sand flea on a bottom sweeper jig. I'm gonna drop down, see if anything's lurking. Tide's still moving pretty quick, so we're kind of fishing a spot we probably weren't gonna hit unless the tide was moving too quick, but hopefully there might be some fish. Oh, that's a hit right there, see that? Got him. First freaking drop. Whoa. First drop, man. Oh no. Not sure what. My guess might be Tog. Yep. Juvenile Tog. Man, that thing, look at that. He just inhaled it. Alright, man. So, not a bad start to the day. Literally just dropped it down. Within, you know, maybe 20 seconds had a hit. That's always a good sign. Especially when we got as much current as we do right now, man. It's moving pretty quick but I think we're on a new moon so that's why I think it's kind of like extra strong but throwing a new sand flea on there we go fishing a little heavier than I like this is a three quarter ounce bottom sweeper jig but uh, as the day goes on we're gonna probably slowly move to like quarter and half ounce jigs we're dropping her back down. Fresh bottom sweeper. Fresh flea. Tide's really moving. Something looks like it's holding on. Oh, look at that set. Got him. Small, whatever it is. What the? <laughs> look at that, man. Well. That's species number 40 right there. It's a northern puffer. Look at that, man. That's pretty freaking cool. Now, this thing's called a northern puffer. They're actually really good eating, man, if you can uh, get them in decent numbers. But I don't want to keep one fish just because, you know, the chance that we might catch more. I'm gonna let them go. Let them grow. All right, man, two species on the day. Ooh, there's a hit. Got him. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck? Oh my Lord. Well, the new species keep rolling in. I did not know what the heck that was for a second because most of the fish where I'm fishing usually run down. This thing ran up. That's a smooth dogfish. Juvenile smooth dogfish. All right, man, we're just gonna let him go. Got a little excited. I thought that was a big kingfish, but unfortunately it is not. All right, man, I'm gonna move to the heavier rod. A little bit deeper right here. A little more current gonna have to move up to the one again Ooh, there, that's a good sign felt like a big sea bass hit though see that that's a sea bass definitely a sea bass or possibly a tog Yep, sea bass. Oh, man. All right, man, that's five species on the day. All right. I'm gonna try getting it back down there. So far, so good with identifying species. I had a feeling that was gonna be a sea bass just cause it was like the million machine gun hit type hit. Not like getting hits, nothing substantial just yet. Got him, that one is bigger. Oh yeah, this is a nicer one. Feels like a nicer tog. 
Ah, man, nice sea bass. Look at that. That might be a keeper. Could that be? Could that be the elusive back bay keeper sea bass? Let's see. Oh man. I think it's gonna make it. Let's see, moment of truth. Oh, easy buddy, easy. Oh yeah, look at that. That'd have been a keeper sea bass in the back bay. Ain't that crazy. Beautiful sea bass. Ooh. Oh. Ah, son of a gun. Waited too long on that one. Got him though, he came back. Guy back in the water. Ooh, that time I got him. Feels like a little bit bigger of a tog. Oh yeah. A little bigger. Not a monster, but definitely bigger. Probably be a keeper, but we're not keeping them today. Might have just made the cut. Got him. Literally dropping hook. Not bad sized sea bass for the bay. It's oh. Yep, another sea bass. No shortage of them. Got him. There we go. 